Capricorn. This is your Once in a Blue Moon reading for this August's Blue Moon. All right. I've been shuffling. We're cutting the cards now. Okay. It's a little dark. I'll turn the light on. I forgot to. All right. This one's calling out to me. Okie dokie. The chariot. <sighs> Sorry if that rumbled, guys. Okay. So we've got the chariot underneath in reverse. We got okay. Oops. <coughs> all right, Capricorn. So, it's looking all right so far. We're going to do a little bit of clarifiers for each of the cards on the deck here. On deck, from the deck. Blah. Coffee time. You like my coffee cup? Isn't it cute? We got it at um, <laughs> the Goodwill, brand new. Whoa, okay, I'm gonna take the one that flipped. Actually, I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna take them all. I'm gonna take them all because they fit. When that happens, it's a yes. Okay. I feel like we're gonna do this. Ooh. Okay. There's something, okay, right off the bat, huge success in something coming in. Huge. Like, like you finally, I don't know, you, it's like, <clears throat> you don't want attention or something, there's something here about you not thinking that something is as good as it is. I don't know if it's a self-confidence thing, because I do have the Knight of Swords, um, or excuse me, Knight of Wands and Reverse here. It's like you're holding back. The unsung hero. What does that mean? I feel like 
and that's not something I say very often or hear very often. The unsung hero. And this is a very heroic card. And this is also a very heroic card. Okay. Something about a battle. Something you've been battling with. Someone you've been battling with. There could have been um, some harsh words here. Or bad news, negative news. You're, but there's like this softness. You win, but it's very not aggressive. I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't like to say that any sign, especially when we're doing general readings, that, that a sign isn't aggressive because there's, there's so many different things that make up who we are in our chart and also in our experience. But I feel like this is like holding back from impulses, impulsivity and aggression. And this is also negativity, um, verbal kind of spouting of words. We have the strength card here, which means you've had to have great patience dealing with someone, trying to gauge them, emo their emotional and instinctual reactions. If there's a resilience here and um, there's also charm and all that jazz because it is Venus and Leo um, energies coming together. But it's more than that. There was a heated argument about something, or there was um, a bottling up of because I have this guy here with this thought coming in, right? I'm seeing it as a thought. What he's thinking, he's not telling his friends about it. There's like this feeling bound to his thoughts, having to contain his thoughts, having to, you know, not communicating about them. <clears throat> and then you get either, uh, there's a circumstance here where you get the opportunities to speak your peace, your truth. Or somebody else speaks their truth about the situation. Or the truth about the situation. Somebody else speaks up on your behalf. Someone does a kind gesture. This could be somebody younger than you. Pisces, a Cancer, um, Scorpio even, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. That could be in their, their triad. Um, but, excuse me, my stomach is grumbly because I need to eat something. Um, there's something here about... there what 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 you were thinking you weren't expressing and now you are expressing it I feel like I mean these cards give me a total polarity because they're so bright and they're so dark right I feel like 
you finally express what everyone else was thinking or there's like this immature somebody is thinking very immature or at, behaving very immature in a situation something is not fair um, for anybody involved um, however there will be a victor because when he's upright that's like a hollow victory right you win but someone's got to lose it can be a sticky situation getting up into the point of winning not that it doesn't feel good but you wish you hadn't even gone through you you have to best somebody to get out alive pretty much but when he's in the reverse there are either no winners <clears throat> Or, I can read it, like there is a winner. It's a quiet victory. A quiet victory. And I say victory because I have the Six of Wands, the Chariot. In reverse, it's still good, right? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse, still good. The Ace of Wands and the Nine of Cups in reverse. I, the, and the Strength card's in the upright. And I have the Ace of Swords in the middle here. Either the way you were thinking about something and you were approaching something, your truth was heard or, or understood. Or... I see someone having a tantrum here as well with these two cards in reverse and this I think this is the same person they didn't get what they wanted they're pissed Give me one second. Oh. I mean, you have every single ace except for the ace of cups. That's telling me that you're not being emotional. You've been withholding your emotions in some sort of way. Because I think this other person has been pretty emotional. Pretty cranky. Pretty... If they don't get what they want, they, they throw a shit fit. This can be children because I have these pages here. However, it can be somebody that's acting like a child. It can be two kids fighting with each other. There's a solution. I feel like somebody gets time out <laughs> in a metaphorical sense. It could be literal, but this is also a new beginning. In terms of the strength, the power that you that you have feeling more proud of what you have achieved. This is like somebody with a very active imagination. 
that's kind of lost in their in their mind kind of mulling things over and over and over again um feeling kind of distracted by their own thoughts and then something happens where you take an opportunity and you take the next step after you take that opportunity in order to pave your path. You're making a choice about your path. You're walking through a door to a new adventure and there's a lot of new stuff coming in. So it could be a new job, new passion project, new idea that sparks the new job and passion project. But somebody might be like a little jealous or I don't have like the gossipy friends card anywhere. But I feel like there's <clears throat> there may be a situation that comes up with the five of swords. It's like a struggle that that is like a lose lose situation as well. And but it could have some significance in the end of it all. Because it seems like whatever happens after this struggle, whatever this battle of the wills is, right? Is my will stronger than your will? Somebody makes out pretty good. I can read this as the person throwing a tantrum, or I can read it as it's just a delayed fulfillment. Um, and a lot of it. You might have had to struggle for some time. Things might not have been moving forward in terms of your manifestations. Um, and, and if you don't like that, sometimes this lingo kind of gets annoying for me. But it's hard for me to find the words that I want to use to describe the situation in another way. Um, your driving force. It's like you're revving, you're really revving your engine here. I think I've said that in a previous reading as well. There's like a hold back, build tension, and then release. It's like something you've been holding in for a long time that you haven't felt good enough to say or to do. An artistic expression, maybe. Something that you actually enjoy doing as well. Um, I can also see it as being nobody else can top this. Nobody else can do what you do. But you're very modest about it. I feel like I, there's a situation I'm getting like the devil wears Prada kind of. That's coming to mind. Where... These girls are like fawning over this lady who is the top dog, right? And they're groveling and, and begging and trying. They're fearful of upsetting her, walking on eggshells, right? And then finally, in the end, she just, she gets on her good side. Um... But then she realizes that she isn't, she, this isn't for her. This isn't her at all. So there's something here that you've been tolerating. You've been very patient with. And there's, there's this slingshot of like building, 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 holding it and holding it and holding it and then release. And once you release, once the situation comes to a head, which it will, with the five of swords, no matter which way you cut it,
what wasn't working, what wasn't moving forward in your life, there's, ch there's change here. There's a, maybe a change of perspective, but it, whatever it is, I don't have the tower, but I do have the nine of so uh, excuse me, the nine of wands in reverse. This is a delayed healing. This is a delayed, um, it's just been like the last hour. It's, it's felt like the last hour before the dawn has been extended to f five hours or like when you're in some kind of stressful situation, how you've kind of that last period, it seems like an eternity. there's a lot of like built up momentum here. It's got to go somewhere. I think eventually it does. You might be being very quiet about your plans at this time, um, but your secret will come out or somebody else's secret will come out in the situation. And that's what I think might yeah, it's either that somebody, ha you haven't been listening to your intuition about a situation. You might be looking for something outside of yourself, whether that's a location, um, something you, you want more. This is like my hunchback in Notre Dame. Like, he's like, what's out there? I want to find it. I, I know something's out there that's better than this. What, what can I, where can I get it? But here it's like, you're either not listening to your intuition or you're going really deep like really deep I'm totally immersed in your subconscious and that's why I feel like it's been kind of a distraction right you've you've escaped your predicament through complete submerging yourself in the darkest depths of, of, of the waters I'm surprised I don't see any Scorpio here I think that I ah uh, This is, I think this is more of a Pisces card. But there is something here about Saturn and Scorpio, maybe. Maybe that's, no, nope. Saturn and Gemini, I don't know. There's something here, though. About you going really deep within yourself trying to escape this situation because of your dissatisfaction with it or someone else has been dissatisfying or there's um here we go <laughs> i told you scorpio would come out i have now i've got the seven of rods and scorpio in reversed and the nine of pentacles uh and then the king of pentacles okay so Having to defend what you're valuing, what your beliefs are, and reclaiming your power and your independence in some way. You might have gave up your power along the way. Um, maybe financially. Maybe you gave up a business to um, be closer to your family. Maybe you gave up you know, like fill in the blank, but you gave up your power in some sort of way. You're gaining your power back. Things might have changed and this is, I mean, I think you're changing internally. This is a very subconscious card, but 
But this is also the subconscious spilling out, ex externalizing itself. And here I have the secrecy cards, and those are being, you know, spilling out. Everything's on the opposite end of the polarity now. The tables have turned in a certain way, I think, within you. I think you're not feeling, or you weren't feeling yourself and now you are, or you've gained confidence in speaking up for yourself and getting, uh, speaking your truth, and hey, it might have ruffled some feathers or something, um, but because you do, you are successful, you are, you are praised, you, you move forward in a way, you finally get the courage to do what you needed to do that you couldn't do. You, you couldn't even fathom doing before. You felt you were insecure and that you didn't, you maybe didn't have the drive before. You were insecure. But then over time, it slowly built up and slowly built up. And then there's like this catapult. <clears throat> and I'm getting the catapult from this kind of hollowed out, looks like a bow. And this is like the arrow. It's delayed success in something. You're not willing, you're not going slow anymore. I think because you were at a standstill or you were just building up so much momentum that you're going really fast into the future. Now, there's going to be like some major movements. I mean, we're talking like, holy crap. <laughs> Everything is going to be new this, new this, new this. Okay, we're going to take it to the next level now. Um, and you're going to be multitasking a lot during this period. There's going to be um, you know, those months where you have like new doctors and new lawyers and you have appointments and you have, um, a new bank, you're getting a new bank account and, um, you're getting a new daycare provider and, oh, you've got a new partner. And then, you know, maybe you're still hooking up with that other person. Um, it's just taken a long time to get here. I feel like there's been some disharmony in relationships in your life that have kept you quieted. Um, I feel like you might be changing the direction of your business as well. If you're going to start a new business or, um, or if this is some sort of, I don't have the, the judgment card, but if this is some sort of battle of like, of wills, like I said, right? I feel like some, there's some change. It could be to your, your shared resources and investments with others, right? That leaves you having to really look at your own sovereignty, your own independence and and how you manage your money and and after it happens if even if it is a little traumatic because i think that scorpio is sometimes sometimes is traumatic it's sometimes a pain in the ass to go through that it can be crisis it can be trauma i don't think it's going to phase you much i think you're pretty well adjusted especially after you've been waiting and waiting and waiting maybe you've been not really moving forward at all and pretty stagnant and then all of a sudden, you're able to, th this thing happens, and it causes great change, um, whether it's a fight, whether it's the, the losing out in, in some sort of documentation, legal paperwork, something or other. Um, but then as soon as that happens, it's like, thank God, now I can start over and do this and this and... and it's like um, 
a push. But it's not even a push. It's like you already were ready to... You had your running shoes on. You were just waiting for for some the other shoe to drop or something something to happen. And maybe it's a little thing. Maybe you were just waiting for one more little thing. Like in your subconscious mind, you were like, it's just one more. Just one more little thing and I'm going to quit this job. I'm going to start my own business. Or I'm going to quit this. Or I've been waiting and saving money up to to start my own business and finally I do or there's something here about doing something that you love that 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 you're inspired to do but not having shared it with anybody all this passion and an almost obsession right I mean, I wouldn't want to get in your way. I feel like once that uh, once that band snaps back, I mean, you're there's no one going to be able to stop you. And I think that this fool or this silly situation, yeah, that's that's not even going to matter. This is being seen, being recognized for your artistic endeavors, um, people. Um, making advances towards you, uh, cheering you on. Um, offering their friendship, their, um, their support. Hearing good news about somebody who's younger, um, who may look up to you in some sort of way. There's, um, you're being put on a pedestal in some sort of way by by younger people or by other people in your life that are not at the same level as you. Um, it's your glow up in in um, in secret. And it's like you've hatched, you've been waiting for this egg to hatch. You've been walking on eggshells of other people, for other people, by other people. And then finally, your egg hatches and they have to walk on your eggshells. <laughs> uh. You're the top dog. This is also some random note. There might have been a relationship that you really were trying, struggling to appease and, and to accommodate, and it wasn't just it wasn't satisfying in, in a more physical manner. And that you get new beginnings with that. Plants might not go as expected. There may be some juggling that needs to be done, taken, you know, taken into account. They'll be robbing Peter to pay Paul for a little bit and, uh, you know, some rocky t terrain that you'll be. But I think you'll be in a good mood. I, I don't think you're going to care. I mean, look at you here. You were emotionally immature in some sort of way. And then you've, after this culmination, this struggle, um, or even releasing this struggle, because maybe it was more of a struggle to hold it in, um, or to keep secret, keep modest, keep, keep, keep quiet. You're emotionally maturing from the situation. You're getting clear. These two guys are right here, but they're children here. They don't know it all. They don't have it all worked out. They haven't experienced um, enough in life. And now you're all grown up, you know. You're clear-headed. And that's enough to understand other people. 
and you're emotionally intelligent enough to be able to have that empathy. You've developed empathy. But that doesn't mean you're going to take any crap either. You're not going to let it affect you. Other people's crap affect you anymore. You're, you're not going to hold on to things that of the past anymore. Like, if, if something is in the past, you're going to let it go. You may be letting go of a childhood home as well. There might be something going on with a family or um, a place of the past that brings you back. This is like, I'm waiting for this situation, you know, to have the courage to do this thing, to make this choice that will change my life. Um, I'm waiting for the time. Um, the time is now. The time is coming. And then we have this two of cups in reverse. There's a disharmony in some sort of relationship but you make the choice that's best for everyone involved or um, things get better in regards to this or maybe you take a step, a step back to take a step forward in a relationship but in the meantime, you've, you're doing all these other new things so maybe that there, there's a pullback. Maybe somebody was used to you being the person that was always there at this time. You know what I mean? And now you're like, no, I'm busy. I've got all these things going on and I've got all this stuff to juggle and do and I maybe I take on a second job and they're like, wait, I'll never see you. And, and, and so, but you're taking care of yourself now. And it's working out. There's something here about it working out for you. It's... This is also kind of letting your guard down, letting more people in, being more social, getting out there. I mean, this is a card of cancer. And so, and it's, it's ruled by Neptune. So, um... There's like this needing to get things together in order to be pushed forward. But also it's like I'm letting go of my shell. I'm not letting things hold me back anymore. And this is letting your guard down. Making a decision that you had to make in order to find emotional fulfillment. And maybe you don't have to walk away from a situation necessarily, Capricorn, but during this moon, and here it is, that blue moon, it's an eclipse, but we'll call it a blue moon. The eight power investment depth, you know, all those things that you're not wanting to emotionally invest in something anymore, or someone else might be changing up things on you, because Scorpio is, is here. And so maybe you're realizing that you're not alone, even if something does go south, even if there's something here about taking another look, like looking back at something as well. I did say about the childhood home. I feel like something of the, it's as almost as if you're at a crossroads and you can see what's behind you still. And so you're taking a look back over your shoulder. You're reminiscing, you're, you're remembering all the good that came out of the situation, but now that it's changed, now that you've changed, you need to move on. And, and you do. 
that's a little bittersweet. You get what you want, but it doesn't work out. It was it's not an easy thing as well. With the five of swords. This is going to be, and there's a lot of communication coming in, a completion of a cycle. Getting excited about some, some dream come true, um, commitment, um, contract. This could be having to do with a job, getting a lot of attention online for something that you do. Um, that's going to lead to independence. Oh, here we go. Here he is again. Yes, yeah, so you're gaining your independence back. You're gaining your power back, Capricorn. Congrats. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, I will see you next month. Bye.